Hi, dear friends, Cultural Creators, Bruce Lipton here. As you know, I've been talking over the last few years about the nature that we're experiencing an evolutionary upheaval at this time. The main fact that we really have to deal with besides all the little global crises such as economic crisis, healthcare crisis, peak fuel crisis, climate change crisis, on and on and on, is that there's one overriding crisis. And that crisis is we are not sustainable as a civilization. That we are undermining the ecology of this planet. And when we do that, we fail to recognize that we are a product of the environment. As we change the environment, we change our opportunity to live on this planet in a healthy, happy manner. You also may be familiar with the fact that I have lectured many times on the nature of Native Americans, because the Native Americans represented in history an opportunity where a civilization understood that there was a spiritual and a material realm, and they were both equally powerful in creating the life that we have. Well, we've left out the spiritual realm very much in today's modern scientific world. We really have to go back and understand that we are greater than just the biology, the physical body that you see in front of you. That we are greater than that. And as I've talked about in Native American populations, one of the most important aspects of their culture was to recognize that we live in a garden. And that by taking care of this garden, we can enhance not just the garden, but the lives we live in that garden. So what's happening right now? Well, this is the big problem. In the Dakotas, there's a move by corporations to extend the oil pipeline through very sacred land and very healthy, holy land that has been maintained by the Native Americans as theirs. Land that was given to them by treaties with the United States government. Corporations really have trampled the civil rights that we have in this country. And at this very moment, there's a big struggle going on in the Dakotas, and that is this. The Native American people are standing up to protect their land from the invasion of corporate people wanting to bring a pipeline through this very special part of the United States. Well, corporations say this is a healthy move and this is great for our economy and this is the best thing we can do. We must actually look behind that image. There are massive oil spills every year in the United States, up to 30 or 40 reported big oil spills that involve death, explosions, pollution of land from these so-called safe oil pipes. Well, they're not safe, but the fact is, hey, money talks. And when the brave people from the First Nation started to gather together in Dakota and say, we will stop this move based on the treaties that we have made with them, what did we find? Outright violence by corporations, threatening, intimidating, sending attack dogs on these protesters. If you think it might look familiar, then consider this. It's almost a replay of the movie Avatar, where the movie talked about a mythical garden where people lived in harmony with the world, such as the Native Americans did. And then, of course, the brute force of Western science and civilization broke into Avatar land and began to destroy the tree of life and the world around it. Well, guess what? It's playing out in the Dakotas at this moment. So what I'm really trying to get your attention to focus on is this. We need to send our brothers and sisters from the First Nation, our power, our wishes, our support, our energy, to offset this invasion by corporations that will undermine the environment even further than we've already done. This is not a time to play with the environment. We already have the scientific reality of the sixth mass extinction. The move on the part of oil companies to extend this pipe is actually a move to destroy the civilization that we have even further. So let's stop this whole idea that profit is our motivation. It isn't. Our motivation is health, harmony, not just of the people, but primarily of the environment. I need you to recognize this is a challenge to our lives. We can no longer afford to have corporations trample the planet that gives us life. So please, in your thoughts today, focus on the need to encourage and support all of our First Nation relatives in fighting this invasion onto sacred land. I hope you will consider this because it's not in the interest of just First Nation people. It's in the interest of everyone on this planet. And the First Nation people are the first guard that are standing in the front of those bulldozers right now. So please, 
please open your heart and, if possible, even your pocketbook to support these people because they are out there protecting our lives. And I really want to encourage them. I hold the deepest and truest faith and love for these people because they're not doing it for themselves. They're actually there protesting against corporations for all of us on planet life. Thank you.